Item number SCP-173, Object Class, Euclid, Special Containment Procedures. Item SCP-173 is to be kept in a locked container at all times. When personnel must enter SCP-173's container, no fewer than three may enter at any time, and the door is to be relocked behind them. At all times, two persons must maintain direct eye contact with SCP-173 until all personnel have vacated and relocked the container. Description Moved to Site-19-1993, origin is as of yet unknown. It is constructed from concrete and rebar, with traces of Krylon brand spray paint. SCP-173 is animate and extremely hostile. The object cannot move while within a direct line of sight. Line of sight must not be broken at any time with SCP-173. Personnel assigned to enter container are instructed to alert one another before blinking. Object is reported to attack by attacking the neck at the base of the skull or by strangulation. In the event of an attack, personnel are to observe Class 4 hazardous object containment procedures. Personnel report sounds of scraping stone originating within the container when no one is present inside. This is considered normal, and any change in this behavior should be reported to the acting HMCL supervisor on duty. The reddish-brown substance on the floor is a combination of feces and blood. Origin of these materials is unknown. The enclosure must be cleaned on a bi-weekly basis. Item number SCP-3220 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures The shaft leading to SCP-3220 has been filled with concrete. No further exploration or investigation into SCP-3220 is permitted at this time. Description SCP-3220 is a large underground silo located underneath an abandoned warehouse on Hashima Island, Japan. It is accessible by way of a 15 meter deep shaft under a hatch in the middle of a warehouse floor. A small metal placard bearing the words Department of Abnormalities in Japanese is bolted to the hatch. SCP-3220 extends just over one kilometer into the ground and is 20 meters in diameter. The structure is designed in a manner similar to a panopticon. Note, a type of institutional building that is designed in such a way that all persons inside the building can be observed by a single watchman, but themselves are unable to see the watchman or even determine if they are being watched at any given time. It possesses 200 floors, each of which is 5 meters tall and consists of a circular balcony, 3 meters wide, that runs the circumference of the room. A large tower in the center of the structure extends from the bottom floor to the height of the top floor. It is constructed of a thick one-way glass reinforced by a steel frame. Previously, no method of access into the tower has been found. Each floor of SCP-3220 contains cubic cells recessed into the walls. These cells are 3 meters to a side and are fully exposed to the rest of the structure. A semi-translucent panel in the back of each cell provides light. There is a drainage grate in the center of each cell. It is unknown where these grates drain to. All but one of the cells in SCP-3230 are occupied by a single humanoid sculpture made of painted concrete. All sculptures are located directly above the drainage grate in their cells and oriented to face the tower. Each sculpture constantly secretes an unknown dark red substance which drains into the grate. Addendum prior to SCP-3220 being sealed with concrete, a hatch was located on the bottom floor of the structure, which provided access to the tower's viewing room Via ladder. Inside the viewing room was a single human skeleton with a broken neck.
Item number 3693. Security level 2. Containment class Euclid. Disruption class Dark. Risk class Notice. Item number SCP-3693. Object class Euclid. Special containment procedures. SCP-3693 is contained within a secure storage vault at Site-19 due to the uncertain behavior of SCP-3693 and the inability of visual recording devices to perceive SCP-3693. The object is to be monitored at all times by a human observer through a windowed viewing station directly adjacent to its containment vault. Any changes in this behavior are to be reported to SCP-3693's containment specialist. Description SCP-3693 is a 1.6 meter tall ceramic sculpture of a young woman of indeterminate age. SCP-3693 can only be seen by observers when their eyes are closed. Despite being visible through closed eyelids, other barriers, such as walls or doors, were obstructed either in part or whole. It is typically observed hovering several centimeters above ground, but will occasionally come to rest if it has not moved in some time. When observed, SCP-3693 will quickly approach the observer, entering the nearest unobstructed space up to several centimeters away and turning to face them. Depending on the observer's height, SCP-3693 will move to hover at eye level. If the observer moves from the original position with her eyes still closed, SCP-3693 will follow in front of them, maintaining the same distance at all times. Once the observer opens her eyes, SCP-3693 ceases all movement. Even when not seen, SCP-3693 occupies space and can be acted upon physically. It does not appear capable of moving through walls or interacting with doors. Subjects who observed SCP-3693 often report the feeling of being watched. Long-term exposure typically leads to moderate unease. SCP-3693 has taken no hostile action while in Foundation custody. Addendum 3693-1 Discovery SCP-3693 was discovered in 1995 in Hashima Island. Japan by Foundation personnel investigating local legends regarding the ghost of a woman killed there by a jilted lover. While investigating the basement level of an abandoned warehouse, agents observed SCP-3693 pressed against a glass divider, following them when their eyes were closed. Further investigation of the site discovered an abundance of crushed concrete debris and twisted rebar as well as several floor drains clogged with blood and fecal matter. The corpse of a woman with a broken neck was recovered nearby. After securing SCP-3693 and moving it off-site, Foundation agents returned to the warehouse to continue their examination of the site. The basement could no longer be located. An investigation into the identity of the recovered corpse is underway.